Hello and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. We are here in Gilded Vale. We just recruited a new friend, Alof. What How is he? Is he a wizard? He is a wizard. Level 2. Does he have any goodies? He's got Alof's leather armor. Overseeing and recovery speed. Ah, more area effects. So this guy's gonna be good at AoE. Cool. Let's continue yeah. on. I could go into the inn. That's where the quest was right. taking me. The main quest, I guess. Or we could go down here. Or keep exploring the city. Let's start over here. Road south. Can we unlock a new area? Magrans Fork. Check. We have a smithy temple of Aeofas. Let's go down here. I do want to check the pocket of this person up here, but how do I get to it? It's gonna be hard. A child. What is this? Oh, hello. Who are you? Hmm? Beneath the vines are crude carvings of sun rising over three stars. Let's talk to you. What? As you near, you feel a vibrant history contained in the essence of this man's soul. Voices from its past seem to call out to you. Reach out for the soul. You see a pennant waving tall and sluggish in the wind. A rising sun embroidered on a banner, the vanguard of a small troop of paladins. The atmosphere is buoyant, if restrained, and their armor has not yet been tarnished by the elements. This expedition is fresh, young, filled with seal and zest. At their head stands a commander, awkward in full armor, but determined in step. Despite the excitement of his fellows, he does not smile. There's a twist to his mouth, his countenance grim. He throws up a hand, halting his troop. Sounds falls among them, revealing a dark thunder deep and low. He orders them to ready their weapons and spread out. Eyes start from horizon to horizon, next twisting to see the source of the sound. In the distance, Dust and lightning arise from the ground as Stygian clouds race towards them overhead. The soldiers stand, only the staccato movement of their breath betraying their nerves. The commander closes his eyes, calling a blessing down on his troop. Invigorated, invincible, they wait as the enemy draws closer, poised to attack. What the hell is going on? Did I just do something magical? Step back, so I can't talk to him? He looks like a moon guy, just like me. Why can't I not talk to him? Right. Am I hallucinating him? Does he not exist? What if I try to talk to him Hi. with you? No. Is that gonna be the same one? Yeah. That's yeah. odd. Sure. But how do I get to you? He said that I should be looting one of these tree hangers. Give, get that. Why can't you get how that? May I help? Yeah. Blood moss. You don't have it if you knew. Let's go in here. Mm -hmm. What else do we have? Ingrid's house, windmill, road east, the black hound, and Aufra's house. The black hound had that um, guy we saved from the bandits. He said to go there to get a reward. What's going on here? Vertan. A man lies resting against the wall, lit by the dim illumination of the fading sconces. He has a gaunt fox-like aspect, and his face is pale and damp with sweat. One arm is held loosely against his side, sleeve soaked with blood. He gives you an anxious glance as you near. His features twisted with pain. Greetings. Oh, godlike? I thought you were some... never mind. Whoever you are, you travel a long way to reach a dark place. He could be a nature godlike? He looks like that, like Borky. This temple isn't what it used to be, probably for the best, times being as they are. I'm no looter, if that's what you're thinking. 
Not one of the faithful either. Just wanted to do some good, I suppose. Got my armed clawed up for it. Maybe you have better luck. What happened? I was trying to avoid the spiders. Ran into Scalder. It's not a bad route, I think. Okay. I could go and get your sword that you left. Oh, he can, I'll, he'll give it to me if I find it. Used to be a temple of Aethas, a scattered god. Requirements not met. Go on. Might as well get some... Backstory. I'm not gonna read it all. But if I see something... Of value... I'll let you know. I'll find them. Whoever they are. I think they are... A proper burial. Okay. For the souls in here. Secret chambers. Check. Suddenly he's up and running. What is this? A rising sun, sun and three dawn stars. Let's go. I might need to camp up soon. I have enough health for maybe one fight. Hopefully I won't take much damage. Oh, here we go. A ivory spiderling. Nice and slow. Let's see what we have. Oh, he see me. He sees me. Oh, look, he's got a rod. Yes. You should probably not tank. Sure. Oh, no, no, no. What? He died? I'm dying too. Run. What the hell? Okay, so these might be above me right now. If I run, is he gonna die? Yo, this is bad. I'm gonna die. And they're going for him instead. Take them down. If he can tank them, that would be good. What's happening now? Oh, he's back up. That's cool. Yes. Get over there and help. Let's see if I can get some spells going. He should have something good. First level wizard spells. Can I get... I'm not sure I want to do AoE. Not right now. Freeze touch. Could be good on one of these. Feeling the oh, down he goes again. Hmm? And I'm about to go down as well. <laughs> the Watcher has died. Well. Let's try that one more time actually. Or no. Let's not. Hmm? We need more people before we can go here. We'll keep that area in mind. I want to get that guy up here. A, a deer. But I don't think we can just yet. Let's head into the inn. Get the good news to whoever it was. What was his name? Late for dinner. The innkeeper. Oh, there are villages now. Let's get in there. What do you have? Pasca, the innkeeper. Greetings. Hello and welcome to the... Oh, it's you! Tenfrith told us what you did for him. It's such a relief to have him back. I can't thank you enough. Gildedvale is moderately positive to me. Good. Consider yourself a favorite of the house. Discount on drinks, rooms. Tenfrith said he wanted to whip you up something nice for you. He's already back to work in the kitchen. So, what would you like? Work! I want work! Oh, well... I wouldn't say I can speak from experience, but we do have a s have certain sorts coming by looking for work from time to time. If you want to hire someone on, I'd be happy to send them, send them your way. What's this? Oh, so I can uh, make my own adventures here? Interesting. And I can get... Oh. So I can get higher quality rooms and get uh, bonuses for it. How long is that going to last? Or I can buy stuff. Or sell stuff, more importantly. Do you have a... S 
How much gold do you have? Can I sell all this stuff to you? Go to the stash. I should have plenty of stuff. What was that? A wanted that battle axe. I want to keep that. I'll sell all those. I'll keep the sword. Sell those. Keep the rod. Keep that. Or sell that and that. Hide armor. Recovery speed is good. Maybe I should equip that. We do have some scale armor. That's even better. I guess light armor is better. Or, um... Hmm. Oh, it's uh, gonna have extra bonus to something else. So, Pier 6, Free 6, and Corrode 3. And this one has more to slash. Interesting. How about this? Slash and Corrode? Simple clothing. Probably not gonna use that. Alright, I think we're done. Do we want anything from the store? I don't think so. Trade. Party management. Good to know. Let's have a rest. That's lovely. Your sleep is restless and fever. Assaulted by hisses and whispers, blanketed with a suffocating anxiety. You open your eyes to awaken, and find yourself in front of Gilded Vale's hallowed gallow tree. The creaking of its ropes growing louder in your mind, until the sound is deafening. Hanging from the tree is an old dwarf woman, whose face has shriveled inward like moldering fruit. Her head hangs limply to one side. As you look at her, she looms larger and larger in your mind, until she is mere inches from your face. Suddenly, her head snaps up and her eyes open, as they are empty, and behind them is a vast nothingness that makes your stomach drop. Her mouth slowly parts and with a gust of rancid air, she speaks a word. Watcher. You jolt awake, the foul smell of the dwarf woman's breath still permeating your nostrils. Sweat runs down your face in thick droplets, and your skin is soaked from head to toe. You remember the woman. You remember seeing her decaying face, when he spoke with the Magistrate. He called her an Animancer. Though it fills you with a new queasy apprehension, you feel a strange compulsion to see the woman once more, if only to confirm she is truly dead. Will do. And I think now we can go back to the tree and check that out. Good. Anything else I wanna do in here? What's this? Will I get in trouble for taking that? Doesn't look like it. Any named people? There are. Development of a Crucible Knight. Whatever that is, I'll take it. Get over here. We want to talk to these people. Selina Vertivo. Another time? Reach out for the soul. You see a woman emptying her satchel into the bed. So this is like... Mind reading? Ish? Is this guy gonna have something different? Yeah. Group of men standing around the makeshift, makeshift practice. So he's practicing archery. Okay. But I want to talk to people. Why do I have to read their minds? Let's go talk to Temfrit before we go. I like these icons popping up to make things quicker. Ah, it's you, my savior! It's good to, s to be back. Do not think I will let this go un unrewarded. I have decided that you have earned the right to learn one of my most closely guarded secrets. My dearest recipe. After this, you will eat nothing else. A savory pie to keep you hale and hearty. May it serve you well in your travels. Wait, so I can craft stuff? Where is that? Inventory? Or possibly from... Oh, there was. Crafting. Food. Beef loaf. Savory pie. So that's gonna give me bonuses. Good to know. Take those. 
Is there anything up on the second floor? We might want to check it out before we head out. Oh, and I've, level I've leveled up. That's pretty sweet. Let's do that after we get up here. Who are you? Caruser! Grab a dink, friend! Not much else of worth in this town, says the woman from Thane. Hey, we said we wouldn't ma mention Thane. Whatever. Level up! I want to put points in! Maybe put one more in athletics and more in survival. Next. Oh, I got more spells. Sweet. So I should have hmm? level 2 spells now. I can cast 4 level 1 spells and 2 level 2 spells. Cool. Hmm? Right. Let's keep exploring. Oh, are you gonna be more things I can uh, mind read? Please leave me be. I'm full of sickness. Yeah. Can I loot this? 10 years of dawn. I do need lockpicks. Didn't I have plenty of lockpicks? I have three of them. It's locked. Oh, two mechanics plus three lockpicks or three mechanics. I don't have any mechanics. Yeah, more soul reading. So this might be good for like sn sniffing out secrets. Let's just go through them, see if anything... If I get a journal entry or something. Nothing. How about this? I can open that. A rapier, padded armor, and a duelist hat. Huh. <laughs> behind... Cram behind the books are... Wait, go back. It's a drawing that shows Aeophas and Lord Radrix in compromising position. Ah. Smut! That's what it is! What do you have here? Black Hound. <laughs> this hound stares intently at the covered window, head cocked as if waiting to hear a particular sound. It looks up when you approach and whines a low note, tail wagging slightly. Pet him! The dog's tail thumps happily against the floorboard. Yay, I petted him. Also, didn't hmm? I have like a charm ability as a druid? Charm beat, co co charm beast combat only. Aye? So I can't do anything with that right now. Let's go out. Oh, we're up here now. Cool. So we are gonna head over to the uh, tree and check out that dwarf woman. And I hope we can recruit a deer soon. But that is gonna be a tell for another day. Please like, comment, share these videos around. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.